Howdy friends, Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools and welcome back to our series called Fly Casting. And that's exactly what it is. It's going to be a series of short little episodes designed to help you become a better fly caster. You know, today a couple more preliminary steps and then we'll wrap up with probably the single most important tip I can give you on fly casting. Um, and first of all, I want to talk about your stance, okay? You want to stand a little bit sideways with your opposite foot forward, just like you were throwing darts in a bar, okay? In fact, you've heard us say this before, fly casting is it's exactly the same, same thing as throwing, throwing darts. darts and just pretend that you're in a bar throwing darts and that's how you should be standing. This is a stance that's gonna be uh, much more comfortable, much more natural, and it's safer. If you're in a river, wading in a river, or you're on the nose of a boat, this is gonna be a much safer stance than if you're straight up and rigid like this, okay? It also allows you to turn at your torso and look behind you because I'm gonna highly recommend that you do that. We'll talk about it in the next couple episodes, but make sure that you're looking behind you and I'm gonna tell you what you're looking for, okay? The next tip is your grip. You grip a fly rod just like you're shaking someone's hand, okay? Your thumb should go on top of the cork grip and the thumb should come as close to the end of the cork grip as possible. I see a lot of people that tell you to hold it back here and that's simply not true. If you ever played Little League Baseball, they told you to choke up on the bat. Same thing with the fly rod. Choke up as much as you can. It's gonna give you higher tip speed and it's gonna give you more control over where the tip of the fly rod goes. We're gonna talk about your thumb and its importance. In fact, your thumb and the palm of your hand are the two most important body parts when it comes to efficient and effective fly casting. You know, it's summer of 2019, and this means I've been in the fly fishing business and teaching fly fishing and fly casting for 30 years of my life now. And I've been really lucky over the years to have spent some time with some of the greatest fly casters of all time, many of which are gonna be featured here in this series, so stay tuned. But back in 1997, I first got to work with Lefty Cray. As many of you know, Lefty was one of the greatest fly casters and fly casting instructors of all time, a legend in our sport, and I was honored to have known him and have gotten to work with him and study a bit with him uh, on several occasions. But at one time I asked Lefty, I said, Lefty, what's the number one mistake that most fly casters will make and that you see most often? And he said, Brian, he said, everybody wants to start their cast here. He said, you watch. Everybody you ever work with will want to start the cast here. And you know what? He was right. It's uncanny. Everybody wants to lift the rod to this point to start the cast. Now, a couple of things. Your fly cast should resemble an airplane taking off a runway, okay? It should get going slowly, gradually build up speed, and then you're gonna launch at a 45 or 60 degree angle, just like that airplane taking off the runway. If you start the cast here, you're asking your pilot to only utilize half the runway. Not gonna happen. Here's another tip. Step number one in executing a proper cast is that you must get the end of the line and therefore the leader in the fly moving, okay? And you can't do that if you start here, okay? By the time you get it moving, you'll be almost at the stopping point. So if you're practicing in a field or the grass, put your rod tip on the ground to start every single time. If you're wading in a river, put your rod tip an inch under the water. If you're in a boat, put your rod tip an inch under the water to start that cast, okay? That's gonna allow you to execute the proper up cast, which we'll talk more about in the coming episodes, but number one mistake, everybody wants to start here. I think many of you are gonna chime in and realize that you've been doing this all along. And as my buddy Flip Pallet says, who's gonna join us for this series, by the way, Flip says, you're only making half of a cast. So thanks for watching, stay tuned. We've got a lot more on fly casting coming at you. 
Send your questions over to admin at madriveroutfitters.com. We'll be happy to answer them or get to them here on YouTube. And be sure to subscribe. That really helps us out. Oh, and don't forget to uh, gently tap the like button. Oh, I'm kidding. Smash the hell out of it. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.